World War II has happened a long time ago, but even today, World War II is still discussed and studied. From documentaries to new media such as video games, World War II is being brought to life. One game studio has taken the advantage of this, Electronic Art in California made Battlefield V. This fictional game is based on the event of World War II. They take some key elements of World War II and made a game with modern standard. In Battlefield V, one of the campaign is The Last Tiger. In this campaign, the player can play as the Tiger tank commander, Peter Müller. Peter is on the German Nazi side and a Wehrmacht officer. What makes this game unique is the fact that Electronic Arts made a game that is quite controversial. There has been a lot of World War II games, but rarely a game in which the player can play on the German Nazi side. Today, I am going to focus on, so how does the last Tiger represent World War II German soldier in this game? What characteristic and value do they hold? To answer those questions, I will analyze the four German tank soldier in this campaign. This study aims to check the ideology which the game shows in the video game Battlefield V The Last Tiger. The Last Tiger campaign takes place in the Rhineland in 1945. Peter and his crew used the Tiger tank to defend the fatherland. At the time, the Tiger was so powerful it was scared by the Allies. The Tiger tank needs five men to operate it, commander, driver, gunner, loader, and radio man. Peter is the commander of the tank. Peter always remains stoic and resolute, a dignified holdover of the Prussian discipline. He is a very well experienced commander. He wears standard military uniform at the time, but without the Nazi swastika and other insignia that represent Nazi. Only the Iron Cross and Wehrmacht insignia, which was enough to represent Germany for that time. This suggests that Battlefield V does not support Nazi Germany. The tank is driven by Kertz. Kertz is the everyman soldier average and unassuming, just looking to live another day. He has his own way of doing things. He does not seek for Germany to conquer Europe. Instead, he just wants the war to end so he can continue with his life. Kertz is the only good that does not wear a uniform, only using mechanic shirt. He even looks unorganized and dirty. The 8.8 cm gun is operated by Schroeder. Schroeder is unswerving in his blind loyalty to the Führer and the dying dreams of Germany's concession. No doubt he's a member of the Hitler Youth. He wears his uniform very neatly which suggests that he is very disciplined and takes pride for what he do. The last crew member is Hartmann. He acts as the loader and because there is no radio man, he also acts as the backup radio man. Hartmann is war weary, beleaguered and broken. A boy who was forced to serve in battle as Germany is starting to lack manpower reserves. He is the most mentally unstable crew in the tank. He has a similar uniform like Schroeder. Based on the visual aspect and character of Peter, Peter has high nationalism value. He always uses his uniform with pride and he has disciplined personality. This shows that Peter is ready to receive his next command and fight for his own country. Peter nationalism came to life when fighting the American soldier. Even though he and his crew are massively outnumbered, he still fights the best way he can. This also thickens his nationalism, putting aside everything to fight for his country. In conclusion, Peter is seen to be the ideal leader in Nazi times. The ideal leader have high nationalism value, braveness, loyalty, and readiness to sacrifice everything. Schroeder, as a young adult, is easily manipulated. Through Hitler Jugend, he was teach how to be the ideal soldier. Not only the teaching method, but also the peer pressure made him more loyal to Nazi Germany. He believed loyalty and nationalism outweighs everything, even his crew member. He killed Peter and Kertz in the end of the story to prove his point. He does not recognize defeat. For him, Nazi ideology is the one and only. In other words, his high spirit, loyalty, and discipline made Schroeder the ideal young soldier. There are two characters that are considered the ideal Nazi soldier, Peter and Schroeder. The main difference is that Peter is wiser and more rational than Schroeder. Peter represents the older generation and Schroeder the younger generation. They are both ideal soldier. Peter is the ideal leader and Schroeder is the ideal young soldier. Because of his age, Peter has more life experience than Schroeder. Even though Peter has high nationalism value, he still knows when to give up. In contrast, Schroeder, who just got out from Hitler Jugend, is still blind with Nazi ideology. Schroeder is very loyal to Hitler, and he represents the ideal young Nazi soldier. This character was the longest surviving character in this game. When the German is losing, so is the Tiger Tank crew, Schroeder is the only one who is still high-spirited. 
in the end of the story, they were massively outnumbered. Kerts tried to retreat, but Schroeder killed Kerts. And before the screen goes dark, Schroeder even tried to kill Peter. Assuming Peter got killed by Schroeder, Schroeder just made himself the last man standing. This can be interpreted as a symbol of the persistence of Nazi ideology in the younger generation to replace the previous generation. Besides Schroeder, there is also a younger soldier, Hartmann. But this character is very contrasting from Schroeder. Because of his age mentally and physically, he does not have the same purpose as the other crew member. Whereas most of the crew aim to win the war, Hartmann is just serving his duty because he does not have any other choices. He still fights along with his crew member, but he can be a nuisance at times, even conflicts. This representation shows that the young soldier is at a disadvantageous position. The last tiger showed different category of age. The game showed the diversity of German soldier. Peter and Kerz represent the older German citizen, which has full consent to join the war. Schroeder represents the young generation who has consent to join the war, but under influence of the Nazi propaganda. Hartmann, on the other hand, shows what happened to the younger generation that was forced to join the war. Both Schroeder and Hartmann represent hope, meaning as to the next generation of their own country. But these two characters have a very different ending. This shows that the last tiger construct identity of the young German as full of idealism and high nationalism. Battlefield 5 heavily censored and reduced Nazi symbol. There are no swastika in the game. It is instead replaced or not shown in the game at all. The reason for this is not to offend certain groups and to follow regulation. There is only one character that has insignia on their clothing which is Peter. Only the Iron Cross and Wehrmacht insignia is shown. These are considered enough to represent Germany for that time. Apart from the visual aspect, these characters also show their nationalism and patriotism value through how they act. They show how each of them fight with their own role and style. This game shows that there are gradations of nationalism and patriotism value across generations. The older generation has more nationalism, that is Peter and Kerz, compared to the younger generation, only Schroeder. Because Hartmann does not show his nationalism. Nationalism is an abstract concept, which means it can be fabricated to reach a certain goals. For example, in Nazi time, the one that fights without thinking about retreating is considered more loyal. This made the soldier very unstable, not only the younger generation, but also the older generation. Alles woran wir geglaubt haben. Alles, was wir dafür getan haben. Es ist vorbei. Nein, Kerz. Komm. Tu das nicht, Kerz. Peter, es ist vorbei. 